let's see. Yeah, like project. Make a poster about your volcano and present it to the class. You can present it at home. Location, you can write the location of your volcano. Where is it? Major eruptions, impact of eruptions. What is the name of the volcano? You can draw it. Good. Now open again your stickers book, 6D, and attach the stickers. Lizard, fish, shake, uh, shark's tooth, insect, seashell, dinosaur egg. Okay, you have time, take your time. Good, have you finished? Let's see. Lizard. This is, what was it? It was a lizard. Two, what were they? What were they? Fish. They were fish. What was it? It was a shark's tooth. Number three, it was a shark's tooth. Four, what was it? What was it? It was an insect. What were they? They were seashells. What was it? Number six. It was a dinosaur egg. Finished and correct. Well done. Great. We have another listening part. You can listen and complete the questions. Let's see. Listen and complete the questions. Then say the chant. Apatosaurus. Have you finished? Great. Let's see the answers. What was it? It was a dinosaur named an Apotosaurus. How tall? How tall was it? It was five meters tall. It was five meters tall. How long? How long? Had to tell how long it was 26 meters long. You know what color was it? We don't know the color. We don't know the color. When was it alive? 150 million years ago, a long time ago in the past. All correct? Great job! Okay, we have habitat, futures, and diet. There are some words in here and put the words, complete the paragraph. Okay, let's listen. Listen and complete the notes. 1. This dinosaur was a velociraptor. How do you spell that? 
it's spelled V E L O C I R A P T O R. Where did it live? It lived in Asia, in the desert. What was the Velociraptor like? The Velociraptor was a small dinosaur. It was the size of a dog, but a bit longer. It had feathers and a long tail. Feathers? Did it fly? No, it didn't fly. It used its feathers like a coat to stay warm. Did it eat meat? Yes, it did. In fact, it killed and ate other dinosaurs. Two. This dinosaur was a Malisaurus. Can you spell that, please? Sure. It's spelled M A U I S A U R U S. The Malisaurus was really big. Yes, it was more than 20 meters long, and it had a very long neck. Did it eat Velociraptors? No, it lived in the ocean. It ate fish. Did it swim fast? Yes, it did. Okay, you finished? Good, let's see the answers. Habitat lived in the desert. This animal, this dinosaur named Velociraptor. It lived in the desert. Features, it had a long tail, long tail, and feathers, feathers, you know, like birds, but it didn't fly. It had feathers, but it didn't fly. What is the diet? It ate meat. This is carnivore. This animal, this dinosaur is carnivore. It ate the other dinosaurs, the other animals. Number two, what is this? It's a Marisaurus. Where did it live? It lived in the ocean. Futures had a very long neck. This is the neck, long neck. And it swam fast. Where, uh, what did it eat? It ate fish. It lived in the ocean and it ate fish. Let's see the correct answers. Did the Velociraptor, Velociraptor number one dinosaur, did the Velociraptor live in the forest? Live in the forest? No. It lived in the desert. No, it didn't. Did it have feathers? Yes, it did. It had feathers. Did it fly? No, it didn't. It had feathers, but it didn't fly. Did it eat meat? Yes, it did. Well, last raptor is carnivore. Did the Mausaurus eat Velociraptors? No, it didn't. Because they live in the ocean, not on the land, not on the desert. Did it live in the ocean? Yes, it did. It lived in the ocean. Did it have fins? Yes, it did. It had fins. Did it run in the ocean? No, it can swim, not run. All correct? Great. This is a game you can play with your families or maybe with your brothers or sisters. You can start here, go down and finish the game together. Number two, take a big paper and design a dinosaur. It's your dinosaurs. You can design it. Is it short or big teeth? Tail, nose, head, neck, legs, 
you can design your dinosaur. Put ticks, what do you want? You want wings, put a tick. You want claws, put a tick. You want feathers, horns. Is it carnivore? Is it omnivore? Is it herbivore? What do you want? Just put things and draw a big dinosaur. After that, you can color it and give it a name. Don't forget to give it a name. Listen and circle. They are, are they same or different? Listen the sounds, same or different? Circle the correct one. Listen and circle. One. Number one. Hat. 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 Two. Old. Hold. Old. Hold. Three. High. I. High. I. Four. Here. 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 Five. Art. Heart. Art. Heart. Okay, let's see the answers. The first one is same. Two, different. Three, different. Four, same. And the five, different. Okay, we need to circle the word begin with H sound, like hat. It starts with H. Listen and circle the H sounds. Listen and check your answers. One, A. Two, herbivore. Three, horn. Four, ocean. Five, head. Six, omnivore. Seven, hot. Eight, hunt. Let's see the answers. Circle the words, begin with an H sound. Egg, does it start with H? No, egg. Herbivore, this is not herbi, herbivore, not starts with H. Herbivore, this sounds like herbivore, not herbivore. This is no H sound. Horn, yes, this is H sound. Ocean, no. Head, yes, an H sound. Omnivore, mm, no, not H sound. Hot, H sound. Hunt, H sound. Correct? Good. Can you write five more words beginning with H? Okay, take your time. It starts with H. Hair. Number two, honey. Number three, hair. Ah, uh, sorry. Mm, house. Number four, 
hand. Number five, happy. Okay, you can write your words. Cool. Do you remember the story? This is the part two, the impossible escape. Let's see what happens in the part two. Listen now. The impossible escape. A true, a true survival, survival story. story. Simon! Simon! Simon, help! Joe yelled. Joe was hanging on the rope like a big, heavy spider. Simon was far above him and he couldn't hear Joe. He only heard the wind. With the snow, it was impossible for the men to see each other. Simon attached himself to the mountain. He wanted to pull Joe up. But he couldn't. Joe was too heavy. Simon didn't know what to do. He waited there for a long time, and he started to feel very tired and cold. It was difficult for him to stand up. He couldn't go down the cliff. It was too dangerous. He didn't know what to do, but he needed a solution. He yelled to Joe for a long time, but there was only silence. Simon thought about Joe's fall. He couldn't imagine that his friend was alive. Joe had a bad injury, and it was very cold. Simon started to think that Joe was dead. He felt no movement on the rope, and he heard nothing. He also knew that he had little energy to survive. Finally, Simon couldn't wait anymore. To save his own life, he decided to cut the rope and descend the Ula Grande alone. He took out his knife and cut the rope. In a second, the weight, his friend Joe, was gone. Now Simon was alone on the snowy mountain. But Joe wasn't dead. When Simon cut the rope, Joe fell down the cliff and into a hole in the ice. Everything went dark. Then Joe opened his eyes. He felt cold and his body was full of pain, but he was still alive. He looked around. He saw a lot of ice. He was inside a glacier. His leg hurt a lot, and he remembered breaking it. Now many other parts of his body hurt, too. Joe, de Joe decided to continue down the mountain. He didn't want to die. He climbed through a tunnel in the ice. After a long time, he came out of the glacier. There was rock and ice all around him. He started slowly crawling and hopping back to base camp. After a hard climb down the mountain, Simon finally arrived at base camp. He found the tent that he and Joe had left there and got inside. The tent protected him from the wind and snow. Now he was safe. He found a picture of his friend in his backpack and spent a long time looking at it. Just a few hours ago, Joe and Simon were at the top of the mountain. They were so happy and excited. Now Joe was gone, and Simon felt sad and depressed. He wondered, did I do the right thing? Simon stayed at base camp. He often looked up at the mountain and listened for Joe's shouts. He waited and waited, thinking about his friend, but he saw nothing and heard nothing. He hoped that Joe was still alive, but after three long days, he realized that Joe was not going to come back. Finally, he started packing up the equipment. He planned to leave the next day. That night, outside the tent, he could hear the wind blowing. After many hours, he fell asleep. He had a terrible nightmare. In his dream, he heard Joe yelling, Simon! Simon! He wanted to help Joe, but it was only a dream. The next morning, Simon opened his eyes. The warm sun was shining through the tent. There wasn't any wind. 
Very far away, Simon heard Joe yelling, Simon! He thought it was only his imagination. Then he heard it again. He opened the tent and looked around. The sun reflected off the snow. Simon blinked his eyes and looked around. It was quiet. Suddenly, he heard his name again. In the distance, he saw his friend crawling toward him in the snow. He couldn't believe it. Joe was alive. Now, Joe writes books about mountain climbing. He gives classes about courage and motivation. He and Simon still climb mountains. What a great story. Did you like? Yeah, I like too. Read and number the uh, sentences in order. Which one is number one? What is after that? What is after that? Just give the numbers. Take your time. Okay. Number one, Joe yelled for help. Number two, Simon attached himself to the mountain. Number three, Simon thought Joe was dead. Four, Simon cut the rope. Five, Joe fell into a hole in the ice. Number six, Joe woke up inside a glacier. Number seven, Joe climbed through an ice tunnel. Good. Next activity, read and correct the sentences. There are some mistakes in the sentences. Find them and correct them. Okay. Simon spent one day at the base camp. No, not one day. He spent three days at the base camp. Simon looked at a picture of his family, not his family, picture of Joe. Simon's last night at base camp was quiet. No, at the base camp, the wind was blowing. Joe walked back to the base camp. No, Joe crawled back to the base camp. He couldn't walk because he fell down. Listening and speaking part, we have a video. Let's watch the video. After that, we have read and match. They were powerful and they dominated the planet. But 65 million years ago, they disappeared and a new species became dominant. Mammals. Tout le monde, une grande crise, une des cinq grandes crises de la biodiversité, celle qui sépare la seconde ère de la tertiaire, et qui a fait disparaître 75% des espèces vivant sur la planète, végétales et animales, surtout animales. Comment cette grande crise a permis à un groupe, un grand groupe, que sont les mammifères, de vraiment d'exploser. Les mammifères n'auraient jamais eu cet essor qu'ils ont connu sans la grande extinction de masse de la fin du monde. Mammals first appeared 220 million years ago, when dinosaurs still walked the planet. The first mammals were very small, so studying them is a challenge. La plupart du temps, ce qu'on retrouve comme reste des mammifères, ce sont des petites dents isolées, voire au milieu des petites mâchoires. Et quelquefois, il faut laver et, et tamiser une tonne de ces vivants pour obtenir une dent. Vous voyez l'extrême rare. But this discovery was very special. This is a complete mammal skeleton. It's 
four million years old, making it the oldest mammal skeleton scientists discovered. From this point, the variety and number of mammals really exploded. Our own ancestors didn't appear until 200,000 years ago, but we made our mark very quickly. One of our legacies, however, is troubling. La crise que nous vivons actuellement, la biodiversité, c'est quelque chose de beaucoup beaucoup plus rapide. L'action de l'homme, l'homme est vraiment un champion du monde dans la transformation, la création de niches écologiques partout autour du monde et de façon donc très très rapide. Et la difficulté justement, c'est que les espèces, la vie n'a pas le temps de s'adapter à ce rythme accéléré. Human beings dominate today's world, but the history of dinosaurs taught us an important lesson. Dominance does not last forever. And which species could be the next ruler of our planet? One theory is birds, possibly the only living descendants of the dinosaurs. Do you like dinosaurs? Yeah, I like them too. Read and match. Okay, what was it? How long? were its wings? When was it alive? Did it eat dinosaurs? Where did it live? Match. You finished? Okay, let's see the answers. It was a Maganiura or a giant dragonfly. They were 75 centimeters long. It lived 300 million years ago. No, it didn't. It ate insects, frogs, and lizards. It lived in swamps. Good. Listen and complete the fact file. What is the name? What size? The habitat? The diet? Listen and write them. Listen and complete the fact file. Hi, sweetheart. What's that you're reading? It's a fact file about a duck-billed dinosaur. A what? Duck-billed, Dad. D-U-C-K-B-I-L-L. L-E-D, duck-billed dinosaur. Wow, it looks funny with that kind of beak, like a duck. Yes, it was a dinosaur that had a bill that looked like a duck's bill. I see, and how long was it? It was a big dinosaur, about 12 meters long. That sounds big. How heavy was it? It weighed approximately 3,000 kilograms. Did it live in the ocean? No, this dinosaur lived in swamps. And what did it eat? It only ate plants that it found in the swamps. Well, you're learning a lot, aren't you? Yes, I love dinosaurs, Dad. Have you finished? Great! What is the name? Duck-billed dinosaur. They say duck-billed dinosaur because as you see, it looks like a duck. What size? About 12 meters long. About 12 meters long. Approximately 3,000 kilograms. It looks like so heavy. Where is the habitat? It lived in the swamps. What is the diet plants found in the swamps? Good. Let's see the other activity. You can write a dinosaur. What is your favorite? What did you like most in this unit? You can write the name, the size, the way, and habitat 
and diet. You can write your own dinosaur in the unit. Classify and attach the stickers. Open your stickers book and take out the stickers 6E. Okay, what is the habitat? Size, features, diet, movement. After that, read the text and put the words. Swim, have, walk, measure, live, eat, have. Take your time. Have you finished? Okay. These are giant sea scorpions. Giant sea scorpions. What is the habitat? Rivers and lakes. What size? 2.5 meters long. 2.5 meters long. Features hard armor and giant claws. This is hard armor. It is so strong. And giant claws. You see the claws? Giant. Big means. Diet, fish, other sea scorpions. Movement, it can swim. And the first one is it measured. It measured 3.5 meters long. And it lived in the rivers habitat, rivers or lakes. It had giant armor and giant claws, hard armor and giant claws. It didn't have strong legs. It didn't have strong legs, no strong legs. Because it didn't walk. They live in the sea, they swim, they can't walk. Okay, it swam. What did it eat? It ate fish and other sea scorpions. Are they all co correct? Good. See the next activity. You can write descriptions one of these prehistoric creatures. Like the activity before. Where did it live? It lived in the ocean. What was the size? It was 1 point meters long. What was the future? It had long fangs. What was its diet? Other fish. What was the movement? It swam. You can write all of them. The sand turtle, the saber tooth fish. Write a paragraph like the activity before. Okay, list seven more forms of technology. Technology is changing. Email, in the past there was no email. MP3 player, in the past there wasn't MP3 players. Now, number three, maybe telephone. Number four, maybe computer. And five, six, seven, you can write. You can ask your olders what was the technology in the past, you can write what is changing now. Technology in the past and present. For example, was there a telephone in the past? 
was there telephone was there telephone in the past no there wasn't was there email in the past no there wasn't were there mp3 players no there weren't okay complete the phrases and design an eco posture at home we have to what we have to we have to save the endangered animals we have to keep the air clean we have to protect the sea animals, you can design a poster at home. And there is a game you can play with your families. You start here, ask questions, answer questions, and after that, you can finish here. Today we finished our lesson. Yeah. And uh, see you next lesson. Take care. I love you too. Bye bye.